Hi learners. Good morning everybody. I am G. Jayapriya, Assistant Professor in Electronics, G. Vengara Swami Nadu College, Kovil Pati. Today we are going to see heart and cardiovascular system. The topic comes under the syllabus of medical electronics. The students, those who are studying electronics, are need to know about the function of cardiovascular system and the function and the conduction system of heart. The reason behind this, there is a lot of job opportunities in the field of medical electronics. Before stepping into the topic, let's see what is medical electronics. The medical electronics engineers design and develop devices like ECG, ENG, etc. and imaging system like MRI, CT scan, etc. with the knowledge of biology and medicine. The engineers also rectify the problems encountered in these devices. Let's see, the cardio means heart, vascular means vessels, that is blood vessels. It contains heart, blood vessels and blood. The cardiovascular system is the transport system of body. It supplies nutrients and removes waste products. Uh, before going to see heart, uh, five interesting facts about the heart. Each day, heart beats 1 lakh times. Each minute, heart pumps 1.5 gallons of blood. Heart disease is the number one cause of death. A normal heart valve is about the size of a half dollar coin. The largest heart ever recorded belongs to a grey wave heart. It is the primary organ of a circulatory system. It is made up of muscle and powered by an electrical impulses. It pumps blood throughout the body of a human being. It controls the rhythm and speed of a heart rate. It maintains blood pressure, blood vessels. There are three blood vessels in the body of the human being. First one is vein. It moves blood towards the heart. Archery. It moves blood away from the heart. Capillary. It's a small blood vessels. It allows nutrients exchange. Chambers. Heart has four chambers. First one is right atrium. Second one is right ventricle. Third one is left atrium. Fourth one is left ventricle. Valves. Valves of the heart. The heart has four valves. First one is tricuspid valve. Second one is semilunar valve. Third one is Tricuspid valve, it is also known as mitral valve, and the last one is aortic valve. The function of the valves is to prevent backflow of blood and keep blood flowing in one direction. Circulation There are two circulations in the human vascular system. There are two circulations in the cardiovascular system. First one is pulmonary circulation, second one is systemic circulation. What is pulmonary circulation? Blood flows between the heart and lungs. What is systemic circulation? Blood flows between the heart and cells of the body. Vena cava. Vena cava carries deoxygenated blood from the body to the right atrium. There are two types of vena cava. First one is superior vena cava. Second one is inferior vena cava. The superior vena cava transports blood from the head. The inferior vena cava transports blood from the rest of the body. Right atrium. The right atrium collects deoxygenated blood and pumps it to the right ventricle through tricuspid valve. Right ventricle. The right ventricle pumps deoxygenated blood to the lungs through semilunar valve. Septum. Septum separates left and right side of the heart. The next one is pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery carries deoxygenated blood from right ventricle to the lungs. Pulmonary veins. Pulmonary veins carry oxygenated blood. Oxygenated blood means pure blood from lungs to the left atrium. Left atrium. Left atrium collects the oxygenated blood and Pops it to the left ventricle through picuspid valve. The picuspid valve, also known as mitral valve. Left ventricle. 
left ventricle pumps oxygenated blood to the body via aorta using aortic valve aorta it carries the oxygenated blood from the left ventricle to the rest of the body next one is conduction system of the heart here we see how the electrical impulses generated from the heart and it transferred through the heart the conduction system controls the rhythm and pace of the heart first one is sinoatrial node this one is sinoatrial node here it generates electrical impulses it's a, it is sinoatrial node is also called as natural pacemaker next one is atrioventricular node it holds the impulses until ventricles are filled with blood next one is left bundle branch it sends the electrical impulses to the left ventricle right bundle branches each sends electrical impulses to the right ventricle bundle of this it sends impulses from av node to the bakinchi fiber bakinchi fiber makes heart ventricle contract and pumps out the blood for a good cardiovascular system healthy heart we should eat healthy and exercise or yoga the electrical activity is g the electrical activity of heart is measured by an instrument called electrocardiogram that is ecg it records electrical activity of heart it helps to detect problem with heart rate or heart rhythm thank you students